I was born in Longview, Texas, so East Texas are where my roots are. So I am so excited to come back to East Texas. I was here on Juneteenth and I'm back to say, East Texas, you've got your native daughter running for the Texas Supreme Court. And that means I'm bringing my East Texas values that I never lost to the Texas Supreme Court because they've lost it. Texas Supreme Court needs to get recentered with our values. Labor Day means for me families. Families are so important to our fundamental Christian rights. And if we don't have good judges who will enforce those laws that respect the family, then we can't have a Labor Day. Labor Day also means fair wages for those who work. You can't support and sustain your family if they're not good laws and good judges who will enforce them. I think the one thing, of course, labor family issues and that everyone needs a decent job. On top of that, there are a lot of candidates here. This is a very important race. You need to know who your candidates are. I'm coming not only with my East Texas values, but 27 years of legal experience in diverse fields. I didn't just work for a law firm for 27 years. I've worked for the government. I've worked for private industry. I've been self-employed. So when you have someone with that vast experience, the depth and breadth, I'm going to take those values to the Supreme Court so that the Supreme Court of Texas will have those views expressed, and right now they're not. And that's another thing. Now you've got someone, I live in Dallas, yes, I understand the urban issues, but coming from East Texas, being born in East Texas, spending the first nine years of my life in East Texas, I never lost those values. And so even though I live in an urban area, so it's important for me that when I'm campaigning that I am in East Texas, I am in Tyler, I am in Longview, I am in Marshall, I am in Texarkana to the, remind them when they vote for me, I'm bringing those values to a higher level because most statewide candidates forget East Texas. Well, first of all, I want them to understand that I am qualified and experienced. I'm just not a placeholder. With my 27 years of legal experience and my diverse educational background, I am ready on day one to sit on the Supreme Court, listen to arguments, and write opinions. And if they have to be dissenting opinions, I'll write those. But at least the voice will be given to those who have our values here in East Texas.